Hey guys, it's Lauren here. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a layout as part of the Hip Kit Club design team. And I'm creating a layout of my beautiful boys. Now I rarely get photos of them now that they're growing up and I feel like I see a lot less of them. But the other day I snapped a couple of pictures of them while they were just hanging out on the couch. They were very nice and smiled for me to create this layout for you guys today. Now I was challenged by the Hip Kit Club design team to create a layout using these super cute little black and white frames from Pretty Little Studio. Now these are a new release frame in their, from their new collection designed by Kim Watson and I absolutely love them. Together with this beautiful blue star paper I thought I'm going to have a great time scrapbooking the faces of my gorgeous boys. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to do something really simple because I wanted to highlight the frames and I also thought I'm going to get a little bit creative here and, um, you know, you'll you'll see in a minute. I don't, I don't want to give the surprise away. <laughs> so here I am. I've just got these four little tiny photos and I'm just using the frames to sort of highlight them. Now, obviously, the photos aren't fitting exactly into the frames, but by just me sort of off-centering them or just poking them through a little, it still has been able to frame my photo and still, you know, create a, a fun effect on my on my layout there. Having a darker background with these black and white frames and these black and white photos has really made my photos jump off the page. And that's really important to me because that's that's the main feature of this is why I'm doing it. I'm documenting moments. I'm documenting memories of my family, myself. Um, and this one is just celebrating their gorgeous faces here in 2019. These two boys are best little buddies. They love to do things together. And I really love watching their relationship grow as they're becoming young men. Now, these cute little uh, embellishments that I'm playing with now, these are from the Pink Fresh Studio. I think it's called Office Hours Collection. And it's a really lovely collection with really clean, clean lines, not too much embellishing, um, all, all using office products. And it's sort of a work themed collection. But my beautiful boys, one's a... Um, a second year building apprentice and the other one's still at school and he's so he's they're sort of mixed up with stationery you know my beautiful boy uses um, tools on the trades and my lovely son is studying and he's he is meticulous with his bookwork so having these little embellishments as items to sort of highlight these photos and this memory really was although they're not you know, it's not a traditional work day photo or or it's not documenting their work day or school day as such. It's been the perfect embellishment for my boys. And I was sticking with the blue themes and there was those perfect little elements that were all the one colour and uh, that really blended in well with that project life card there. And it also blended in well with that um, star background that I'm using here. So I'm just layering up now and adding some adhesive to to the backs of the photos and the frames. Some I've used a little bit of foam to for the embellishments just to get some dimension and help them jump off the page. Now that's really hard to see here in the video because I'm from the camera angle, but it really does make a little bit of a difference and it, and I think the time where you really see that difference is when I'm adding those embellishments on. So here I am just sticking down these photos and I'm sticking down these little embellishments. I'm not th overthinking it. I'm just using my fave glue and sticking and plonking and it's all coming together really nicely a nice clean kind of layout do you guys scrapbook find scrapbooking your boys tricky or finding products to scrapbook your boys I do there's a few companies that put out some boy collections which I'm really thankful for uh, one of them's Coco Vanilla Studio here in Australia and um yeah, but I'm really, and also another Australian company called Flutter by Designs, they have some elements that are really great for our boys, our teenage boys particularly, and um, 
But, you know, I really love if you've got any fave brands that you like use for your boys, your teenage boys especially because that's where I'm at, um, can you link it below because I'd really love to check it out and um, and make some more boy layouts. Now, as you can see, I've left a white border around the edge of the photo. Now, what I was thinking is these gorgeous frames look hand-drawn. It looks like someone sat down, more likely Kim, grabbed a black pen, or she's probably used her iPad, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, um, and has hand-drawn these borders around these, these embellishments. So I thought, I'm going to have a go at doing my own border, copying one of the frames there just to give it a go. So just free handing, as you can see, I'm not using a ruler because I think that hand drawn, it's a little bit wonky and it's not exactly perfect, is going to be okay. I'm creating my own custom border around the page, which once again, when I finished, really centered in and highlighted my photos and those embellishments that I'd used in the center of the page. So I'm really thankful I took got the courage and grabbed a black pen and just went for it, especially after I'd already stuck everything down. Um, but I wanted to have a go and I think that's the that's the trick with scrapbooking. If you're thinking of an idea, give it a go because you might surprise yourself. I certainly did here and the frame turned out just the way I had hoped it would. Um, Yes, I'm just using just a sort of a felt tip pen there, nothing special. I tested it out before I, I started to make sure it was the right thickness and just adding those final little embellishments there. So my tip for today or my challenge for today is to give something you wouldn't otherwise try a go on a layout and just surprise yourself because I know it'll work out just fine. And do you know what? At the end of the day, if it doesn't, it's just paper, but I guarantee you the delight you'll get when you work out that yes, something has something you've tried has worked is really a really great feeling. So I'm just finishing off with a couple little more puffy stickers there to polish off. I was thinking about adding some journaling um, and off camera I did go back and add a little bit of the date um, in the frame section down the bottom there because I just I wanted to use white but then I didn't think the white would stand stand out enough so I ended up just with a black pen doing adding a tiny little bit of journaling in the frame down the bottom which ended up looking great and there's my layout complete here I go testing testing my white pen but then decide against it so if you haven't heard from the hip kick club please check it out all the details are in the description below thank you for stopping by give me a like if the this video has inspired you and share it with your friends that really helps my channel and i'll be back again really soon with a new layout take care guys bye